Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ekta Bhushan, teaching anatomy and physiology of exercise at Indira Gandhi Institute of Physical Education and Sports Sciences, University of Delhi. I welcome you all to online lectures of CEC UGC. In this series, we will discuss about uh, different topics, but today in particular, on the occasion of International Yoga Day, we will discuss the topic effect of yoga on different systems of our body. So, yoga is a spiritual discipline dating back to some 5000 years in the history of Indian philosophy. Its purpose mainly to unleash spiritual and mental powers of an individual. However, in recent times, yoga has been extremely popular in the context of fighting stress, anxiety, depression in these times of individualization and our super fast lifestyle. Apart from the spiritual aspect, the physiological benefits acquired from yoga have recently had radical scientific understanding behind its working. It is also moderates the surge and the production of chemicals in the body that affects us mentally, physically, as well as psychometrically. So, let's understand the science behind yoga that makes it so useful. So, yoga practice can be divided into three subcategories of practice in simple ways that is posture, that is holding exercise, we also call this uh, as asanas, then breathing, pranayam and kriyas and meditation dhyana. We will be covering all three aspects in this uh, lecture uh, and effect of all these aspects uh, on uh, different systems of our body. So, emerging as an important health behavior, lifestyle modifying module to achieve holistic health, many studies have tried to determine the effectiveness of yoga as a complementary intervention for cancer also. So, let us start with the effect of yoga on nervous system. Let us discuss about the nervous system first. The nervous system is a network of neurons whose main feature is to generate modulate and transmits information between all the different parts of the human body. This property enables many important functions of the nervous system such as regulation of vital body functions heart, that is heartbeat, breathing, digestion, sensations and body movements. Ultimately, the nervous system structures presides over Everything that makes us human, our consciousness, cognition, behavior and memories. Yoga affects the body and mind in a few ways. For one, by helping us overcome fear and worry, our yoga practices reduces the body's need for a physical fight or flight response. But what if your anxiety is free-floating? or more generalized. In other ways, you are not specially afraid or, or worried about anything, but you still feel agitated much of the time. So, yoga can directly affect the nervous system as well. There are many yoga postures that can help calm the body and nervous system. Deep, relaxing stretches uh, like seated forward bend, child pose and of course uh, Shavasana are more examples. So, let us start with the parasympathetic activities. Many yoga practices include gentle breathing based vinyasa and slow. Diaphragmatic breathing activates the PNS that is uh, peripheral nervous system or the rest and digest mechanism of the body. So, parasympathetic activation is the base state of the body, brain and mind. PNS activation reduces the blood pressure and slows the heart and breathing rates after a stressful event. Additionally, blood flow is redirected 
to the digestive and reproductive organs and the endocrine and lymphatic system those parts of your body that are not needed in other survive then uh, sympathetic uh, activation and deeper relaxation not all yoga is relaxing intense power yoga or hot yoga classes can actually activate the sns sympathetic activation is a change to the pns baseline in response to a threat or an opportunity vigorous practices like sun salutation and some breathing exercises stimulates the sns research has demonstrated that such vigorous practices followed by relaxation leads to deeper relaxation than practicing relaxation alone a well rounded yoga practice often begins with sun uh, salutation and closes with the shavasan or meditation because yoga includes both sympathetic and parasympathetic activation your body and brain become even more relaxed into the pns baseline yoga not only helps strengthen the pns it minimizes the body's tendency to activate the sns yoga reduces levels uh, of the stress hormone that is cortisol when researchers measure the cortisol level of participants both before and after a yoga class they discovered a significant decrease after the class because yoga practices trigger the rest and digest system the restorative powers of the pns can work to bring a balance to the body and now we'll discuss some of the yoga asanas that can trigger a nervous system and uh, make into the more relaxing so the first one is vrikshasan the pose aids neuromuscular coordination and activates the mental facilities then balasan balasan the restorative pose that relaxes eases and reenergizes the body while stimulating the nervous system hal asan beneficial for the nervous system and its proper functioning then ardha masendra asan detoxifies the body strengthens immunity and massages the nervous system then adho mukha savasan the pose stimulates the nervous system and increases the production of wbc then supta baddha konasan the pose stimulates the central nervous system and provides therapeutic effects then setu bandha asan the pose connects nerve cells of the parasympathetic nervous system then viparika karanika asan uh, stimulates the neurons the pose purges toxins out from the body then sarvangasan the pose calm the brain relieve stress and cures mind depression then shavasan end the session with the curbs pose as it is designed to relax and recover the energy now let's start with the, the effect of yoga on cardiovascular system so the cardiovascular system consists of the heart blood vessels and blood its primary function is to transport nutrients and oxygen rich blood to all uh, all part of the body and uh, to carry de uh, deoxygenated blood back to the lungs there are two uh, blood circulatory system in the body the first is a uh, systematic circulatory system this is the main blood circulatory system that transport blood to the organs tissues and cells throughout the body the second is the pulmonary circulation system this circulatory system moves blood between the heart and lungs uh, it is where oxygen enters the blood and carbon dioxide leave the blood so being isometric yoga asanas rely on holding muscle tension for a short period of time 
This improves cardiovascular fitness and circulation. Many surveys show that regular yoga practices may help the blood pressure to normalize. As an example, the stomach a lift raises the diaphragm which in turn massages the heart and below this strengthens the heart muscle thus resulting in better circulation and less possibility of heart diseases many yoga asanas for example shirshasan sarvangasan viprit karni asan hal asan mayur asan and few pranayams especially influences the blood circulation blood pressure comes to normal level this is possible by regular practice of asanas so yoga has tremendous health benefits for your heart most notably the gentler form of yoga lower uh, your blood pressure because the asanas yoga poses a postures and yoga positions keep blood flowing evenly throughout the body while you focus on your breathing people suffering from hypertension can benefits from yoga tremendously as a hot yoga can lower your heart rate and blood pressure many practitioners claim that yoga has also lowered their cholesterol Power yoga is an excellent form of cardio conditioning which strengthens core muscles while it keeps blood and oxygen circulating throughout the body then now we will discuss some of the yoga uh, asanas uh, which can enhance your cardiovascular efficiency the first one is uthita trikon asan So Trikona Asan is a standing yoga posture that is especially beneficial for the heart and for cardiovascular diseases. During this posture, the chest cavity opens up. As a result, breathing becomes more rhythmic and deeper. Moreover, it also increases stamina. Then Tad Asan, performing Tad Asan helps strengthens the heart and the vertebral column. it also opens up the lungs as it involves deep breathing then hastapadanasan this pose helps in weight control therefore it helps maintain a healthy heart then vrikshasan it uh, broadens the shoulder and dilates the heart it also helps improve your mood more cheerful makes you more confident and improve your posture then virbhadrasan virbhadrasan boosts stamina and enhances balance additionally it improves blood uh, circulation and reduces stress level it also regulates the heart rate then uttasan it increases the heart rate and respiratory rate it keeps your heart pumping as uh, at a faster rate thus stimulates the heart it also expands the chest then marjara asan the chair pose usually follows this pose it controls the heart rate and normalize it uh, in a more systematic breathing pattern it also helps with uh, the blood circulation we also call this pose as a cat pose also so adha mukha uh, shavasan Adhamukha Savasan stretches the lungs and strength uh, strengthens build up the chest muscles which increases lung capacity and these are more uh, asanas uh, which can keep your heart healthy uh, it includes uh, pranayam and uh, dhanurasan and many more now we'll move to the effect of yoga on respiratory system So the respiratory system is one of the most vital system in the body. It is composed of the lungs, the bronchial tube, the nose, uh, and the air passages, larynx, pharynx, and trachea. Your respiratory system is the network of organs and tissues that helps you breathe 
This system helps your body absorb oxygen and the air so your organs can work. It also cleans waste gases such as carbon dioxide from the blood. Common problem include allergies, diseases or infections. It is mainly responsible in supply oxygen and getting rid of carbon dioxide in the body. It also allow us to speak. Um, oxygen is our life source and lack in the supply of oxygen in the body could mean death. The oxygen which is provided by our respiratory system is used by the 100 billion cells that compose our body, especially the brain. So why is my respiratory system important? There is no better explanation. Basically, if you don't breathe, you'll die. Your respiratory system is all about the way you breathe and consequently what happens next. Clearly, the function is to bring air to the lungs. It then assists with placing oxygen in the bloodstream. Most importantly, our body needs oxygen to sustain itself. So, in addition, our respiratory system rids the, bo the body of toxins. Hence, it expels waste such as carbon dioxide. Simply by exhaling, we are able to accomplish this. Seems like it is miraculous process. As a result, we will be healthier and helpfully live a longer, more comfortable life. That is, if we, will, if we are able to keep uh, the system functioning properly. Nonetheless, the importance of respiratory system is that it delivers oxygen to every cell, every cell in the every part of our body. The nose, mouth, sinuses and lungs are the direct connection to this process. Now, yoga breathing exercise and effects. So, pranayam would be described as breathing exercises in yoga. Breathing is done through the nose only in and out. It's been said that using these types of breathing exercises can increase your oxygen intake up to five times. Naturally, you want more oxygen rich blood running throughout our body. Consequently, it services uh, your lungs, also your brain, heart and digestive organs. Finally, deep breathing can also improve your lymph system. Most optimally, it helps eradicate toxins from our body. So, with regular practice, the effect of yoga on respiratory system also include cleaning out the sinuses, decreasing asthma attacks, lessening the effect of hay fever which is the normal fever or viral fever and reducing allergy symptoms. So, yoga poses an effect. Asanas are a serious series of yoga postures and poses. Noteworthy, several asanas help move your spine in different directions. Also, they stretches uh, the muscles around your upper torso. Therefore, it strengthens the muscles circulating your respiratory system. Importantly, physical yoga poses encourage flexibility, yet it expands the space. Most noteworthy, it gives your lung more breathing room. Moreover, moving different body parts stimulates blood flow. Hence, every part of your body will receive more oxygen. Some common effects, preservation of the body's health, purification of the blood, improvement in the absorption of oxygen, strengthening the lungs and heart, regulation of blood pressure, regulation of the nervous system supporting the healing process and healing therapies, 
increasing resistance to infections. Some uh, effect of pranayam, uh, a reduction in air flow, resistance through bronchia and uh, decreased respiratory muscle tone, strengthening of the respiratory muscles through prolonged inhalation and exhalation, relaxation of accessory breathing muscle through diaphragmatic breathing, an increase in voluntary breathing holding time through the acclimatization of comeoceptions or to hypersepnia. Now, we will discuss some of the asanas uh, and pranayam which can enhance your uh, respiratory system. So, first is Sukhasan. It stimulates the blood flow to the lungs and also washes out the harmful toxins from the lung muscles. This asana not only increases your focus and concentration but also helps treat respiratory disorders and cough and cold symptoms. Practicing it regularly also reduces stress and anxiety. Then Bhujangasana. Cobra pose. The cobra pose not only improve mental calmness but also strengthens the mind and helps stretch out the chest and lungs. It also helps in soothing sciatica, strengthens the spine and provides relief from asthmatic symptoms. Then Matsyasan, we also call it a fish pose, totted as destroyer of all diseases. The fish pose promotes deep breathing by stretching and strengthening the lung muscles. It also supports the body balance and helps in better circulation and distribution of blood throughout the body. Then Padma Savasan inverted lotus pose helps in the proper expansion of the chest and allows easier passage of the air to the lungs and uh, uh, which in turn help in better uh, explosion to of toxins from the body. Then Ardhamatsendra asan, this asan is extremely beneficial in providing relief from breathing and difficulties, stress and tension. Then bronchial asthma and respiratory disorder. If somebody has these problems, so these asans are very, very useful. Um, they are Ardha, Shalab Asan, Bhujang Asan. Now we will discuss uh, the effect of yoga uh, or digestive system. So, the major function of the digestive system are ingestion, digestion, absorption and defecation. Yoga asanas affect improved blood circulation and uh, the massaging effect of surrounding muscles speed up sl uh, sluggish digestion. As a person gets older, the digestive system functions with gradually uh, reducing efficiency. The regular practice of asanas does result in an improved blood and nerve supply to the digestive and elimination system keeps them functioning well. Let us uh, discuss the yoga asanas which improve digestive functions and provide relief from gastro, uh, gastronital problems. By Vinayasan, Vinayasa yoga promotes abdominal strength along with the ability to compete, contract and full expand the abdominal area. This ability assists in digestion. Stretching creates space for all the digestive organs to move and breathe and release addition between the organs and improve blood flow and functioning. Yoga asanas can increase or decrease the agni, the supple digestive fire. So overall, yoga is the natural way to solve issues which, uh, which keep you from uh, self-connection. And there are various yoga techniques that are very effective for digestive issues. Benefits include relief from impairment, removal and cleaning of the organs. So, 
uh, these are some of the yoga asanas which are very benefit uh, beneficial for improve the digestive problems this is a seated side bend the spinal column will live uh, in four fundamental ways forward reverse and sideways then cat and cow pose the fantastic way to get off any yoga exercise is with the full cat pose to cow pose then sun salutation that is surya namaskar is the combining of 12 active yoga asanas and postures which are performed at the series together with surya namaskar then bow pose entering and leaving bow pose will be difficult for beginners but very beneficial afterwards then last the shavasan the deep quiet view of shavasan is known to be healing for tension these are some other poses which are very beneficial for digestive system that is bhujang asan paschimottasan ardhamasendra asan pranayams other kriyas which are very beneficial for digestive system is kapalbhati kriya yoga practices such as kapalbhati kriya are both very beneficial for gerd as well as control gerd system then noli kriya noli is a breathing technique that is uh, thought to cleanse the organs of the abdominal region then bhastrika pranayam is also one of the pranayam is a hot yogic breathing technique it aids in increasing circulation twell in the body as well as producing inner heat at a physical level it aids the removal of toxin reducing inflammation as well as the build up of phlegm so in conclusion yoga affects every cell of the body it brings about better neuro effective communication improves strengthens of the body increase the optimal functioning of all organ system increases resistance against stress and uh, diseases and bring tranquility balance positive uh, attitude and equanimity in the practitioner which makes him lead a purposeful and healthier life i hope you understood the effect of yoga on different systems of our body their benefits and how we can improve our body system that's all for today see you in next time thank you